Well, hi there. I'm Flameless Knight, and today we're going to be looking at the Fall of Porcupine. It just fully released on the 15th. It is a story adventure where you play a little pigeon who works in a hospital. Uh, I did play the demo. The demo is very cute. It reminded me a lot of Night in the Woods, even though it's not the same developing company. Um, so I'm really excited to embark on this one. Uh, so this is going to be a little different for me, and I suppose for the few of you who hang out on my YouTube channel, usually I stream live on Twitch Wednesday through Sunday, but I wanted to try to just record for YouTube. So my goal with this is to have slightly shorter segments and to kind of find my footing. So I hope you enjoy coming along on this ride with me. It'll be a good time. Or at least it'll be a time. <laughs> Alright. I suppose we should probably get going. See what's different uh, in the full release from the demo. Fall of Porcupine is a story set in the healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. It will say the fact that it deals in, like, medicine and with the healthcare profession. Probably not the best content for me personally. Uh, but that's fine. We'll get through it. I have an innate fear of doctors and things going terribly wrong medically. Hopefully the audio's okay. It looks okay. I, I'm hearing some popping, but I think it might be my headphones. Also, that's a lot of crashing. Buddy! Well, this is also already starting off quite different from the demo. Oh, I can move. My eyes are very glowy. Hey, Finley. Nice to see you at last. Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I... I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her, the way my pot vibrates when you set her up to spin. No, I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea, but it was important. And I think I've lost it? Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure we- I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course! Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah. It's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I heard, hear any music, though. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. There we go. Better? It, it, yes. I like this. Coolamundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes, yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great! 
That's what I want to hear. Lost things always return up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm gonna have a look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, if you know. Am I dead? Is that what's happened? Has Finley died? Why is it doing that? Let's smooch that over a little bit. There we go. I don't know why it's a little draggy. Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? It's going quite well. It's really nice here. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, person. It's going quite well. It's really nice here. I have to be I haven't been outside like this in a long time. It's easy to forget how much good it does you. Word. Once I find my spot, I might just stay. That sounds great. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know, just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I got alfs. Afs. Wanna go to try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on. We'll have that sorted in no time. See? No problem at all. No problem? The whole ground was shaking. He goes quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you're climbing on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know. You're right, oh. Still, I still think he's dead. Boop, boop. Gotta love our uh, platforming segments. Boop. How do I get up further? Oh, hello, Finstar. Up here. Oh, how did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little Finley. I'm more a partial to shade. I'm more a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken. This is uh, not at all what the demo led me to believe was going to be going on. You made it after all. You know me, I never pass up on a good time. Are you alright? I'm going to catch a cold. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my taxes. <laughs> The water is lovely. I don't know what you're ta going on about. No. I don't like the water. So I want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. <laughs> Actually, maybe we could get out of here. Alright, alright.
Isn't that a statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. At least we found a nice beach and our plant friend. Hey, bud. Finster. There you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at a beach? The moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in. There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley. You live with me. Pina gave you to me? You're from her flower store? Finley, Fonley, Dingly, Dongly. It's all the same to me right now. Oh, ye. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe. But not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower, buddy. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down in the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alright, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. Oh, castle down there. How do I... How do I dictate what path I wish to go down? Hmm. I guess I can't go off that. It just automatically takes me up. Um, options. General. Nope. Trolls? Oh, okay. Never mind. Figured like holding down or something would make the difference, but it's not. Hmm. I don't wish to go up, I wish to go down. I don't know what to do. Oh! Haha! -ha. Perfect. I can't even go into the bounce house. That'll just loop me back up. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I must be missing something. Ooh, maybe I need to jump on the top of it. Aha! Got it. We find ourselves in the clouds, okay.
Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where? Where Mr. Anders is? Mr. Anders, I was looking for Mr. Anders. Okay, so it's picking up right where the demo left off. All right. He's a patient of ours, and he disappeared. I was talking, uh, I was taking the elevator, and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Anders. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations, but I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Uh, Arndez. Arndez, not Anders, Arndez. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. If you are not familiar with my streams, I tend to flim flam wording. So, sorry. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so this takes place right after the DLC, or, not DLC, <laughs> demo, where we were looking for a missing patient, and we had a whole bunch of boxes fall on us at the end. Okay. Hoot hoot. Mr. Arn Arndez. Has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arndez. Can you hear me? Boop, 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 boop. Nope. Ah. Woo. Hippity hoppity. Can't stop, won't stop. Hello, is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on top in the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own th take on their on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should. Ugh. There's someone back there. Mr. Arndez? Is that you? That's... blood. It's still fresh. Mr. Arndez? You've... bleeding. Don't move. Ugh. What? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm, I'm going to help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? And then I had my skull cracked in by a box. Good morning. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me all about what happened. Besides, you were only trying to help me find Mr. Arndez. Still feel bad about it? Forget about it. Order yourself pizza instead. Pina? Got it. I'll remember... Mom. Oh, I can scroll up. Uh, 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 yeah. Hey, Finley. Dr. Kowalski asked me to send you my number. Hello, Mia. Thanks. 
Here's my number two. Looking forward to working with you. Me too. See you tomorrow. Get well soon, Finley. Just ha I just heard what happened. Should I be worried? How bad is the injury? Thanks. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days and then I'll be back at work. Hope you're not got too much work covering for me. Don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future, okay? There's a lot going on on our ward right now. Anyway, just get yourself healthy again. Consider it done. Okay. I have a brother. Hey, big brother. Happy birthday. How's things going well? Hey, Finley. Doing just fine. Thanks. Happy birthday, Finley. Hey, thanks. At a bar celebrating. Lots of people here. <laughs> okay. Have one for me. Way ahead of you there. Will you be home for Dad's birthday this year? No, I can't make it. I'm on vacation right now. Oh, too bad. And then Mother. Oh, I text Mother a lot. Hey, did you get there okay? You don't let you didn't let us know. Hey, Mom. Sorry, the move was pretty hectic. Hope you enjoy Porcupine. We'll come and visit soon. Please get in touch if you need anything. I'll do that, I promise. Thank you, Mom. Good luck for your first day at work. You've got this. Thanks. I'm a little nervous, but really looking forward to it. Hope my ward's nice and the cafeteria, of course. You're going to be a great doctor. We're very proud of you. Hey, sweetie. How's it going? Or how'd it go? Hey, hey. It was really cool, but also exhausting. I was going to unpack a few more boxes, but I think I just had to straight to bed. Do that. You deserve some downtime. The boxes will still be there tomorrow. Good night. Not heard from you in ages. Is everything okay? Hi, Mom. Yeah, everything's fine. Just a lot going on. Sorry. Works harder than I expected. Feels like I don't have any time for anything else. Well, new starts are always tough. I'm sure it'll get better. How are you doing? We're on vacation, nice and sunny here, just on our way to the beach. Sounds great. It's nice here too, definitely fall, but still quite warm. Starting to make a few friends, it's all going pretty well. That's great, sweetie. People from work? Yeah, Mia and Carl work on my ward. They're really cool. But I've made some other people, I've met some other people too. Even went to the woods here with a new friend. That was really nice. Sorry, had no reception all day. That's really great. Knowing you're happy makes me happy, too. Hey, sweetie, back home now. Hope you're doing well and managing to take a break. Yeah, actually... Actually taking an unscheduled break right now. Had a little accident at work. On sick leave for a few days. What? What's wrong? Do you need me to come over? No, everything's fine. Just a bump on the head. Nothing serious. I can be on the next train. What do you need? Do you have something to do? Do you have someone to do your shopping for you? I'm fine, Mom. Okay, but let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be right I'll be right I'll be there right away. Thanks, Mom. I will do. Thanks, Mom. Uh no task. Notes on Mia. Oh, it must just be character stuff. And help. Alright. So we hit our head pretty good, or had something hit our head. Man, another one of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. It feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping all together. That's a mood. Ugh. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Hmm. There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. Giving me quite the ruth restless night. It's alright for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find a beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. Man, I haven't finished unpacking. I used to game with my roommates every night when I was at university. She always kicked my butt on the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched that thing since I moved in. Hmm. 
I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trail subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. I guess we're going to work. That bike's been there since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still here, wait, still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Mailman. Or woman? Woman. Morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running. Just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I hear uh, Lois Colbert's having trouble sleeping, too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. What was that? Ah, we added a new person to our notes. All right. Well, porcupine's small from what I understand. How it can't be easy to get lost here. What's this now? There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's the better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? Do, 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 well, do we have to go rushing to the hospital? From here, I can get to the old town and the high street. It's weird what passes for high street in a small town. All I know is that penis store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name, at least. Small, crooked, old houses, the town hall, the town for uh, fountain. And Gilbert's, of course. The best and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. I want to see the old town. It's so clear you can see the glow milk woods from here. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing coffee and eating my breakfast here. I like the cute little loading screen porcupine.
goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually. I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele Von Witterstein. Uh, Witterstein. I am Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. So we're in a hurry. Somewhere in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing, are... I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, Doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have some a moment sometime... I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have questions. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, we'll steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. Good morning, Giliano. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much, the band-aid gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be alright, yeah. I'm sure you will be. You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by any time, okay? Thanks, Giliano. I might just take you up on that. That's the big town fountain. It's a statue of Nino Slav Honorat. Oh. Nino Slav Honorat Sue, the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. Hmm. This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked, too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies. That would reek. Is there super secret alien technology inside of you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great question of the universe? Come now, reveal your secrets. The more I read the dialogue, the more I am reminded of Night in the Woods. Which is not a bad thing. This is a computer. Or a stone. There's a plaque on the tree. Okay, it's a plaque. It looked like a computer. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town Porcupine. Nikoslav, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. How do you lose the keys to a house you build yourself? 40 days later, he found them on this very spot. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. St. Ursula's Hospital is this way. 
astute. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. St. Ursula's Hospital. You squeal, we heal. <laughs> this is a statue of our out here every day from dawn to dusk come rain or shine it's never complained how do you do it regular sleep probably balanced meals exercise three times a week well a guy can dream A puddle seems like a hazard. The hospital isn't huge. Still, you can get lost here from time to time. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table. That's why you should always pay attention to the signs, kids. We did it. We made it to work. The good old vending machine. A handy source of breakfast. Or end of shift reward. But hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a choco dog right now. Every morning, they gleam through the glass laughing at me. Just like they've been doing since before I was born. And still, will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, aliens be alien beings will dig up these vending machines. What was this machine's purpose? A primitive civilization created it. That's what they'll likely ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. Oops, I did not. One of those rare moments where a small change in this most valuable thing in the world. That or a crowbar, I guess. Maybe I should put a crowbar vending machine next to it. But what if that breaks down too? My head's spinning again. Yep, I'm in my hospital scrubs. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury healed up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Yeah, sure. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have been... But it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well... We have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthro... Uh... Anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. But the term is klutz. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Just kidding, kiddo. How's Mr. Arndez? The old duffer's still alive. Making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. <laughs> okay. I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here for a short while. But because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who survived. 
Very funny. <laughs> but seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee is getting cold. And you need to swing your butt over to your ward. It's on the third floor in case you... In case the dent in your he uh, noggin caused more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then before Dr. Kowalski rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. Thanks, Ingrid. What, does the elevator work now? Nah, we'll walk. We'll walk. Just in case there's someone in the stairwell. That's not my award. Can I peek in on other wards? Administration is on the second floor. Chief physician. Theo Bond's office is here. I haven't introduced myself to him yet, but that'll have to wait. I need to do my rounds. Okay. Here we are. friends. Ah, uh, Finley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come. Yes, I'm sorry. I... The bus is unreliable. I cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Kowalski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our route around in room 301. So here's Miss uh, Martin. Good morning, you're very late today. Uh, Miss Martin, a woman after my own heart. Miss Martin is in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin. Came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was the sharp pain in my heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well... Come now, spit it out. Um... Yes? Ulcer? Stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My... answer? Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gas uh, gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin. Uh, Miss Martin. We'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check on you. You're ready. We'll check on your readings again later. I swear I can read. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. 
Let's continue to room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. I can run faster than you guys. Well, Larissa, how are you we today? Quite okay, Doktorsky. It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths for us? Like last night? That's right, careful. Corf, corf, corf. Sorry, Dr. Korowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. Well, I was down at the school with the others. We were, we were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. But I definitely wanted to learn. My board is super cool. It was green. It has green wheels and a grip tape and all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch up their board on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board is as big. It has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. I guess this is a kid. I thought it was an old lady. <laughs> It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very, very good. But what were you all doing down at the school? Uh, well, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. Oh yeah, this is definitely a kid. He said, if you want to be a good skater, you gotta smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really don't want to, but I don't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from uh, practicing. He lit a cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't see why grown-ups even... Grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed and... But couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it, really. Thank you, Larissa. Lar yeah, Larissa. They explained that all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions with my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? I think it's asthma. I know, Dr. Kawasi already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay. Sorry, Doktorsky. <laughs> uh, asthma. It could have been an asthma attack. Yeah, that's what I think. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logic and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. Hehe. <laughs> Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Kowalski. Okay, last stop for the day is room P33. Oh, and Finley, you already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Ar Arnez. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. Arnez? Yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Arnez is an old-timer. Even discontinuing his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best shape anymore. So act accordingly. Okay. Oh, where? Oh, it is this way. Shoop, 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 delang, delang. Shoop, 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 delang, delang. P2... Mm. 
Ah, they caught up to me. How kind. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arndaz. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. Kowalski, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Hedrick. To what do I owe the honor? Why, Mr. Arndaz, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say, I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective, but I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Hendrick. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for this accident. Nobody at St. Ursula does. St. Ursula itself is responsible for the accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I have arranged for Mr. Arndez to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we're, uh, we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there around the clock. The rest will also help his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Kowalski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assist, assess Mr. Arndez's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look at and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Yes. Anyway. Good morning, Mr. Arndez. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that was, that must have been before I was here, Mr. Arndez. Well, what are you doing here, then? I like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this? Okay, then go ahead. Finley. Mm, yes. <clears throat> Mr. Arndez suffers from dementia, but it's still relatively fit, as you can see. Oh, is still. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffers a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind to change Mr. Arndez's dressings? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndez if he wants to do it himself, if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. All right, I'm doing it. Rude. Good morning, Mr. Arndez. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm, do I know you? Yes, maybe. It was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndez, 
Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Ant Arndez. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. Treatment. Your patient... Patient? <laughs> your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the button shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the button shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible and don't release any of the buttons as long as they're displayed. Oop, where's... There it is. Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings, but there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Mr. Kowalski. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor, just an absent-minded old fool. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're done. Mia? Finley. Come with me, and I'll give you your task for today's shift. Oop, wrong way. All right. There you are. Back to full health, I trust. Yes, all good. I'm glad to be back at work again. Uh, in any, in that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. The walls are crumbling, but it's still fine money for digitization. I still don't believe in these electronic patient records. But Hendrik and the Theobald won't stop signing, singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have the have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. All right. I think for now, we'll leave it here and pick up taking care of the patients next time. I'll see y'all later.